All right, guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back. Floor seven. And before I get into this, um, I got a comment from Beer Gut uh, on my channel on floor six. And he said, Russian Storm, I noticed you're getting into, you're into getting 100% stats on levels. So I recompiled the executable to, so stats will show up on levels seven to 11. It should be compatible with save games to make backup anyway. Download is here. And I will post that link in the description on this vid, guys. Um, if you're into this mod and you want to poke around with it, I will post that in the um, description. That way you can have version 1.1.1. And yeah, so thanks, Beer Gut. I appreciate it, man. All right, floor seven, guys. Let's get into it. Level seven, mall. And this is a boss level, so we're going to be facing Trons here. And before I kill the officer and the guard off to the right and pick up my extra machine gun and ammo, I just want to touch on how how cool it is just to see this bomb, you know, coming in through the wall. And I know I talked about it last floor, but now we're starting to see this like a little more up close and personal. It just makes me think what the hell is going to be going on uh, in the rest of these floors. So it's going to be really cool to see. Anyway, get those jabronis and we're going to pick up that uh, ammunition there. Your dick. Anyway, come in here, blast away, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And the reason is because these guys are coming in to make their presence known, but we can get rid of them quickly. And that guy. Nothing much in here besides phone ringing. Three dogs in here. We're gonna head up this way, get these guys, just a couple of uh, browns. Nothing too serious. Now there are parts in this floor that I am going to take uh, rather slow because, yep, you guessed it, we deal with mutants. Schustful to the right, Schustful to the left, with a guard. A brown, rather. All right. And they're taken care of. Take that box of ammo. We're going to head in here. Um, this just leads uh, forward. This is a dead end, but we're coming to this again. And I don't know what it is about this SS, but I've seen quite a few of them. It's like they worship the statue of the Angel of Death, and I don't know. I mean, I like that his eyes light up and shit, but it's just like... It's like the hell, you know? Anyway, moving on. So we come to this room. Now this room is quite interesting because we have uh, Browns and SS enclosed between uh, these two cages. And this is just a neat room. I think this is my favorite area in this map. Around here. Schustiful. I mean, wouldn't it be cool, guys, if like you could just... Yeah, you're an asshole. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just like capture a Nazi like that? But me, I'd be very <clears throat> destructive. I'd be grotesquely destructive. Right. Come on, dude. Freaking guy. Alright, in here. SS, of course. Interrupting their bathroom break. Thought there was another one? No? Anyway, there's pee on the floor. I said there's pee on the floor, <laughs> but we don't need it. Heading over into this bathroom, just browns. There's a bubbler if you need some water, but we can't drink water in this. It's a shame. We're coming very close uh, to the silver door and the gold door are in this room. Silver door is straight over in this way and the gold door is over in that direction. And we'll be getting the gold key from Trons, but we got these freaking guys to deal with. Guard here, where's the SS? Come on. Taking forever, man. Brown, officer. Brown here. Be careful flying around unless you have this place memorized, like moi, and then you can go apeshit and just, you're an asshole, and you know, just go apeshit, kill whoever you want, but be careful coming around this corner, because that guy can get you really good. Alright, we're in tip-top shape, pretty much. So coming in here, um, yeah, feel free to bust out the old painless chain gun that we have. And we'll just take that creative ammo because I felt like it. And we got Trons right around the corner. I mean, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, look at me, he has spikes on his shoulder. Those things must really hurt. 
course, it's probably part of the uniform, but nonetheless, he just wants some pizza. I mean, just listen to this guy. Yeah, I know you do, dude. What do you guys think he is? Think he's an extra crispy pizza guy? Chicago style, New York style, I don't give a shit style. I mean, he likes green, so perhaps he likes green peppers. Yeah, yeah. Take that one up because I'm not coming back to get it. I'm going to take that chain gun too because I, because I want to and we can. So we have officers and a brown. Collect this ammunition and on we go. I don't like flying in here. I mean, I guess I could, but I like to, uh, oh, <laughs> wrong way to turn. And that's okay, because we have plenty of health to go back and get. Of course, I have a health pack right here. Alright. We come to this bathroom area. I don't understand. I guess he was on the john or something. Kind of weird. But nonetheless, I am going to run back. And I'll take that. shortly. I just like to clear out that room. Then we're going to come down in here. This leads to sort of a dead end. We have two secrets to nab. And our other secret here. <clears throat> and what do you know? Take a look. We got a warshipper again. I wonder if there really is a meaning to that. I mean, this is just sweet. I love that. That's just awesome. I mean, the angel of death is not awesome, he's an asshole, but nonetheless. Mm, I'll save that med kit. Couple of shoes to fulls. You, and you. And we come to this interesting area. Not much to it, it's just a big circle around thing. Damn it. Got you, and you, brown here. No secrets in this area either. It's just a neat layout. I like it. Brown. Guys here. Dragon guy. Not today, Brown. And then we come to this area, and I want to make sure I am in tip top health because this is going to get really shitty. And. You got mutants around. I'm not going to talk too much in it. You're just going to have to sit back and watch because you're going to need patience in order to, you know, to get through it. And I do want maxed out ammunition, so I do want to run back here and grab what I can. All right, cool. Is this part's just ass? Okay, so there's going to be a mutant to the left, mutant to the right, I'm just going to go like that. That's okay, we alerted some guys. I don't suggest coming out here like this unless you can knock him down and get him. I mean, other way you're going to get popped. That guy, that guy. And that's the other thing too, is that some of these mutants aren't deaf and they're going to come after you. So that's something else. And of course we got an asshole ghost. Whoa, hey. Here, just wipe him out. Fill up on health and ammo whenever you can. Even if you're just a few points down, it does not matter. Just go. And now I'm going to be quiet because I really just want to make sure I'm doing this the way it should be done.
Okay, and we can breathe now. All right. Ooh. Yeah, and this is leading on the way out, so we need to go back here. Sometimes I get confused what doors lead where. Friggin' door? That in here? Yeah, that's it. Alright. Yeah, sometimes I can't remember which door to go into because everything just looks, I don't know, identical for lack of a better term. I apologize for that. Alright, so. Some guys. Come on. And you. Hello. Thank you. Alright, guys, floor seven. Just about done. <laughs> Alright guys, and I will definitely see you uh, in the next one. Well, we overkilled. What do you know? Alright guys, I'll see you in eight.